Hi everyone and welcome to this video. In this video I will explain and show how you can set up the Menace Unreal Lifelink plugin for Menace Core. First I will show you how you can install the plugin to use with a specific Unreal project. With the plugin downloaded from the resource center you will have a zip file which you will need to extract. Inside of it you will find a folder called Menace. In your Unreal project this is a empty project. You'll need to create a new folder called plugins and open it. Simply copy the Menace plugin folder into your new plugins folder. Then open the Unreal project to launch it. Inside of Unreal, we'll go to settings and then plugins. And then at the bottom in project, there will be animation and the Lifelink Menace Core plugin. And as you can see, it's already enabled. To view the content, if you install the plugin in this way, go to View, and uh, View Options, and select the Show Plugin Content. By default, it will be unchecked, and you won't be able to see the content from the plugin that you installed. If you click the folder icon, you will be able to see the Menace Content folder. And inside of it are all the example files uh, to use the Manus plugin. Next, I will close this project, I will remove the plugin and explain how you can set it up to use it with the engine, so not for one project but for any project. In this folder, in your project folder, remove the plugins folder containing the Manus plugin. And we can minimize this and then we will navigate to the engine folder so in this case I already set it up and we're using the Unreal Engine 4.25 version. Inside of it there is a folder called Engine and inside of that there is a folder called Plugins. And we're going to copy the Menace Plugin folder inside of this Engine Plugin. And now we're going to open the project again. Now inside of Unreal we will check again under Plugins and now it will be in built-in under animation you will see the lifelink managed core plugin also enabled to view the plugin content you will go to view options and select the show engine content and to now see the plugin content you can also see all the other uh, engine plugins but here under manus are the Manus resource files. Next we will set up the Manus example. We go to settings and then to project settings. Scroll down until we find Manus somewhere here and then open up users, Manus users and then the first one. The Manus users in this plugin are to identify unique skeletons. So if you want to use two different skeletons, you would make a second Manus user uh, and configure that one. So we will set up the first one right now. And by default, we supply three examples. And we'll set up the one with just hands. You select it. And um, as you see, it will select the first left glove and the first right glove that are connected to the computer. If you are using it with SteamVR, it will also use the first tracker for the left and the right hand. And since this, this is the first one, the ID or the, the number that is used is zero. This is saved and we can close this. Next, we'll go to the uh, Manus folder and open up the map. You can hide the grid by pressing G and we'll press play. And as you can see, the hands are now animating. Next up, we will set up a custom hand model. I imported some content that we will be using for this video. Navigate to the folder where you have your own uh, hand model, right click, go to animation and create a new Manus skeleton. Now 
we will be using this file, so I named it according to that. Open it and select the mesh you want to use. Um, by default, as you can see in the log, it will try to name all the bones uh, according to a naming scheme. You can also manually adjust this. Um, and then you have control over uh, how the fingers are being bent. So the mesh that we're using, this one, is using the Unreal Engine uh, skeleton. And by default, these settings are meant for that. If you're using your own skeleton, you can adjust the amount of the grease each individual joint either bends or spreads. And at the bottom, you have control over how you can preview uh, your changes. That's it. We'll save this one. Close this. Uh, we'll go to animation, animation blueprint, and then we will select the skeleton that this mesh is using. So it's just the standard Unreal Skeleton in this case. And we are, call this Menace Live, and open this. Then in the animation graph, we're gonna create a Menace Live link pose and connect it, compile it. And as you can see, it's already animating. Next, we will create another, um, and save this. We'll create another blueprint. Go to blueprint and then pawn. Call this uh, um, pawn. Open this. Create a menace component. And here we are going to add the menace life blueprint. And then we're going to adjust the Manage User to use the skeleton that we have created. Click Edit Manage User, and then select the new skeleton. And then, as you can see, it's now already using the skeleton. Compile, save, close it. And then in this sample scene, we can just uh, place this Go into play mode, and uh, and that's it. You're now animating your own custom hand. To use the gloves in VR, you have to have two Vive trackers connected, and each of them has to be configured so they are assigned to the left and the right hand. You can do this by going into the Steam VR settings, the Manage Vive trackers, and making sure that you have one set up for the right hand and that you're wearing that one on your right hand and the other one on the left hand. And then when inside of Unreal you go into play mode, you will see that uh, the positional tracking is uh, is working. And you can use this for VR. Um, and we'll go into VR mode and I will put on the headset. Next, I will explain how you can get uh, finger data directly into your own blueprints. We're going to create a blueprint. It's going to be an actor. It could also be a pawn. It doesn't really matter. I'm going to call it live menace data and open it. Go into the event graph and we'll look at the different blueprints that we have available. So there is a menace group and Inside of there, there are all the different kinds of uh, nodes that you have. You can get the battery, you can get whatever you want uh, in regard to the gloves. Um, what we want to get is we want to get finger bend data. So let's get glove data. Uh, gives all of the data and the finger data gives specific finger data. So the bending, whereas this gives all the data essentially. So we're going to make a note and as you can see, we can identify which of the fingers uh, we want the info from. Um, but for this node to work, we need to provide it with a glove ID. Now, luckily, there is a get menace ID, which is the uh, get menace user glove ID. 
uh, it will pick the first one for a left glove and it will give that ID. And then for the finger data, we can actually split this so we can get the bent data for the different joints as well as the spread data. And we're going to select the index and then we're going to make a print. And on every tick, it is going to spam us with whatever bent uh, the index finger is. Um, so this is a float, it's converted to a string and on every single tick it's going to provide us with the specific bend value. And this live bend as data, a blueprint, actor, we're gonna add to the scene and we're gonna press play. And as you can see, as I bend my finger, the values change. Now, you can imagine that you can use such a system to animate your own hands or to control other events that uh, happen in your game or in your live experience. Um, this is just a very simple example of what you can do with, uh, with this data. Um, you have access uh, to the battery info, you have access to um, other manners data, for example, the transmission strength. And for all of these, you would need to use the glove ID, which you can get by doing this. That's all. I hope you enjoyed this video and uh, learned a lot. Bye-bye.